prepare to go to the Legacy Museum and the Memorial for Peace and Justice, um, I want us to all kind of get in sync. Proximity is crucial. You can't really understand, appreciate, empathize with what you aren't proximal to. When you first approach the memorial and you see these steel columns hanging, if you don't know what you're going into, initially it looks like it's art. And you start to realize these are hanging for a reason. And then you start to see those names and that kind of shocks you. If you are a black person in this country, you'd be hard pressed not to find your last name. You're looking up at a steel column with your name on it that represents someone who was hanged, lynched, terrorized. It was very emotional. It moved me. Inspiring. I cried. Confused. Optimism. It reminded me of my dad. I need to come back again. I'm sad. It was like nothing I've ever felt before. Angry. Tears. Pain. I feel like I haven't done enough research. Kind of reshaped my thinking. It was important for me, for these scholars, to make a connection to their history. And not only to their history, but to how history has impacted the present. And that they could take that empathy, put it to work, and then start to generate solutions.